Hey, thanks for joining us at 616 Comic Reviews. This is Aaron speaking. We're here uh, looking at the New 52 Suicide Squad number 7. Um, stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to 616 Comic Reviews. This is Aaron speaking. We're here looking at uh, uh, New 52 Suicide Squad uh, number 7. We'll start off with the uh, writer. It's uh, Adam Glass. Uh, the artist is I.G. Uh, Guara. Um, Clayton Henry and Scott Hanna. Uh, the cover art is by uh, uh, Ivan Reese, Eber Ferreira, and uh, Rod Reese. Um... Let's start off with the cover. Uh, awesome freaking cover. Honestly, one of the first Harley Quinn comic cover or comics I bought was this cover right here. Um, it's an amazing cover. You got uh, Harley Quinn here um, holding a dead uh, dead shot hostage with uh, Joker's face attached to his face. Um, very very intense uh, cover. I'm one of my favorites. Uh, definitely. Uh, an awesome piece of art. Um, so we move into the, the comic itself. Uh, you see that you got the Suicide Squad uh, and their new teammates. Uh, and it looks like uh, Clayface is sitting here uh, doing some damage. But what's really ha happening is uh, Light and Lime are making everybody believe that King Shark is, uh, is Clayface. So they're projecting this uh, aura around him that makes everybody believe Clayface is doing it instead of King Shark. They're doing it as a distraction. Uh, basically so they can distract the police away from the police department and uh, Suicide Squad can get inside of Gotham City Police Department where Harley Quinn is. So they uh, break, into the, break into the police uh, department and they uh, you end up still going through Harley Quinn's flashbacks so she's still doing a lot of her origin story and uh, this is kind of where finally Harley Quinn has decided that she's not going to take uh, uh, the crap from the doctors anymore and that she's uh, in love with Joker and that she's actually going to do something uh, to try to free him so she you see this panel she's uh, standing over in her doctor's outfit uh, holding a knife when she just stabbed one of uh, the the main uh, doctors at Arkham and you see that she's a uh, she's going here and she's uh, rescuing Joker out of his uh, cell and then it flashes back to her not what modern what's going on right now where Savant has caught up with her and he's trying to uh, stop her from you know trying to stop her so they, they can take her back to Belle Reeve of course she's a little bit smarter than him and she tricks him into a cell and he and he steps on a landmine and the landmine holds him in place uh, while Harley Quinn locks the cell and she gets away. So then, of course, the flashback to the outside where they're still fighting Clayface. And uh, Lime and Light are starting to lose power. And King Shark is about to be exposed. And essentially, which is what happens, essentially. And then uh, one of the police officers uh, shoot uh, Lime, I believe it is. One of the sisters gets shot and dies. And... Uh, which, of course, is a, a big issue being their twins, you know. And uh, so then it flashes back to Harley Quinn in a dark room. She's uh, discovered where uh, Joker's mask is. And uh, Deadshot has just creeped in behind her, uh, trying to subdue her. So, of course, it flashes back to more Joker scenes. Uh, one of the most important Joker Harley scenes, if you ask me, where... Uh, she is being where she Joker convinces her that she needs to go through the same uh, uh, process he went through, being dropped into the vat of acid. Of course, she doesn't want to, and Joker kind of just kicks her in. And uh, after he's drained it, she comes out uh, a new Harley Quinn, uh, the Harley that we know nowadays. Um, and honestly, I gotta say, the art on these particular panels is amazing. This face with Harley right here as she wakes up. You can tell that the, the psychotic Harley is just awoken inside of her. And it's a really, really set, a good set of pictures. And of course ends up with a good uh, uh, kissing scene where Harley's, you know, basically kissing Joker at, to his much to his surprise. And then it flashes back 
to uh, Harley capturing uh, Deadshot and having him tied to a chair where she takes Joker's mask off and uh, attaches it to Deadshot's face. Um, and this is a, a really deep uh, scene because the truth is, is that this is what shows uh, Harley's insanity and her fight, you know, between her, her uh, psychotic Harley Quinn side and the logical uh, doctor Harley Harleen Quinzel side. So it's kind of like you get a really kind of uh, both sides. She's posing like she's kissing with Joker. I mean, you know, the one side of her probably knows it's Deadshot, but the other psychotic side of her needing to be that close and needing some closure with Joker, uh, she puts on the mask onto his face and uh, interacts as if uh, he was Joker. Uh, to the point where she even uh, gives him uh, a big old uh, smooch on the face. Um, right here, basically. You don't actually get to see the, the... Oh yeah, right there. There's the kiss scene. And she gives him a big smooch, kissing the bloody Joker face. Uh, leaving blood staining her lips. Psychotic Joker, or psychotic Harley. Uh, completely adorable, in my opinion. I, I love it. And then, of course... Uh, Deadshot trying to find a way out of this insanity at this point, probably being overwhelmed by just the craziness of the situation in general. He wiggles his way up to where he shoots a single round to Harley Quinn, and that's where the uh, the book ends. So, a very, very intense story, um, very psychotic, uh, but at the same time, uh, almost romantic in a way. Very, very romantic. Which, uh, I mean, maybe that's just the man in me, but very, uh, I thought it was a very romantic issue, actually. Um, so I would give it a, oh man, there, again, there's really nothing, I don't got, I can't really complain about any of it. The art is really good, the, the writing is really, flows really well. I read through it very quickly. Um, I would definitely have to stick with the, man, I have to go 10 out of 10. The cover is just amazing, I mean. Like, that is just an amazing shot. Even with all the blank space up here, it is just so perfect. I, it's amazing. And, of course, that would be where the title is. But uh, amazing shot. Amazing, amazing one. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, remember, like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you next time.